Hey, what's up guys? Wanted to share some thoughts today. Random thoughts of Nick Fulmer. So guys, this saying was popping into my head and that is, you can be right or you can make money. Now, what am I, what, what does that even mean? What kind of craziness is, am I talking about? So guys, in, in, this, in the business that I'm in, right, surplus funds, I see a lot of folks, whether they're new or, or even experienced folks, Sometimes they, they like to get hung up on how things should be done or how things are written or how, you know, how laws are written or how something should happen. Okay, let me give you an example. I'll try to give you a couple examples to illustrate what I'm talking about here. One example, using an attorney's, right? Like, do you have to really use an attorney in this business? Couldn't you just get a limited power of attorney and file a claim for them? Like, isn't that what a power of attorney is for, is to act on behalf of somebody, right? Like, that's what that document is for, right? A power of attorney gives you permission. You give somebody permission to act in your stead, on your behalf. And you can dictate what that's for. And in surplus funds, you can specifically say this limited power of attorney is for the sole purpose of claiming funds and couldn't you use that to claim money from tax sales or foreclosure sales here's the thing i agree with you i think that should be doable should be able to do that like if somebody gives you permission to act on their behalf you should be able to do that right but here's the thing many counties will just ignore that They'll just say, we're not going to accept a power of attorney. Do they have a legal basis for that? I don't know. But I've seen a lot of people, a lot of government agencies do things that they had no legal basis in. Okay. But the point is, like, you can try to fight that, right? Like, you can try to battle and get in a pissing match with the county and try to argue with them. I have this power of attorney you should disperse the funds, blah, blah, blah. You could do that, or you could just play their game, use an attorney, and then they don't even ask the question. So that's that's one example, right? Um, try to think of another example. Let's say, for example, an assignment form, okay? Let's say you use an assignment form. Somebody assigns their interest to a surplus funds to you, to your company, right? In some states, that, that's, that works great. In other states, it doesn't. I've learned this from experience. But, but legally, they assign their interest to you, so you have a right to that surplus, right? I agree with you. I agree 100%. But I have this other saying, judges do what they want. If a judge sees an assignment and they don't like it, they'll deny your claim. Ask me how I know. <laughs> so, in some places, I wouldn't recommend using an assignment. Just utilize an attorney. But that's not right. That's not how it should be. I agree. I agree. An assignment should be plenty sufficient in order to claim surplus. But sometimes it's just easier to play the game, jump through the hoops, and just avoid the situation altogether. Okay? Okay. So you can be right, or you can just make money. So that's, I hope that clarifies what I mean by that when I say that. Um, try not to let your ego get in the way of you making a profit and actually doing well in your business. Because I see that sometimes in folks where it's like, well, this is how it should be, and I'm going to do this. And it's like, okay, that's cool but you're going to waste a lot of time. Okay. So those are just some random thoughts today of you can be right or you can make money, but usually you can't do both. Make no mistake, guys. There, there's games that you have to play. You learn the game, you play the game. And that's what I've, what I've been learning as an adult, I guess, is that there's lots of games in life. 
and you got to figure out the games, figure out the rules. And there's a lot of things that just shouldn't be the way that they are. There's a lot of things that are unfair in life. There's a lot of things that are not right. There's things that should be different than the way they are. And you can either complain about it, or you can just figure out how am I going to use this to my advantage? Or how am I going to play the game so that it benefits me and I'm not a victim of the game? I gave you some examples of overages, but that's just life in general, right? Um, you control you, and that's all you really can control. Anything outside of that, I wouldn't spend too much time worrying about it. Just my thoughts.